Young at Heart by Pam Young. Fall. Get it on the calendar. October is one of my favorite months of the year. I love fall. It makes me happy. The beautiful leaves have so much to tell me. Hi, I'm here to remind you that life is eternal and beautiful, and we can always turn over a new leaf. Even though I may look like I'm through, I'm just changing energy forms. My mom, the tree, is also going to look like she croaked, but you and I know it's an illusion. Next spring, she'll be back to play in the breeze and be the most beautiful tree she can be. For now, my work is to protect the nursery for next year's spring from the coming winter's snows and harshness, unless, of course, you want to use me as part of a centerpiece on a table. Speaking of centerpieces, in October, I like to pretend I'm driving through a huge centerpiece on some giant's dining room table. My husband Terry and I love to take at least one day trip around our beautiful state of Washington to get a centerpiece fix for the year. Be sure to get a centerpiece drive on your calendar while the leaves are gorgeous or you'll miss out. When I got organized, one of my intentions was to get the leaves on the calendar as well as pick wild blackberries, build a snowman, swim in the river, and play in the dirt. I found out during those busy, child-rearing years, if I didn't get those kinds of activities on my calendar, I'd miss out on a lot of joy. Speaking of joy... And calendars. A big happiness sapper is having a calendar so small you can't read your personal shorthand. Quote, 3 p.m. Tick germ dit drot corp chimp nit. Unquote. A month later, when you're trying to figure out what the heck you were supposed to be doing on that day, chances are you'll never figure out you plan to take grandma to the doctor and you need to take notes. Thank God for Cozy and Fly Lady's big wall calendar. Goodbye, you little squared happiness sappers. Here are some of the other happiness sappers I hope you can avoid. News. News is just official gossip. My definition of an investigative reporter is an authorized nosy gossip. I stopped watching, reading, or listening to the news after 9-11. I figure Terry, who was a television reporter, will inform me if I need to pack up and head for the hills. Eating too much. What else can I say? Gossip. Since I've cut off the official gossip, why would I want to indulge in any unofficial info? Being late. Not fun. My days of putting on makeup at red traffic lights and racing to my destination with not enough time are over. I read somewhere, punctuality is honoring someone else's time. When you stop focusing on the time you are supposed to be somewhere and instead focus on the time you should leave to get to the event on time, you will be punctual. Not balancing your checkbook. If you don't know what your balance is, maybe it's time to use cash. At least when it's gone, you know it. Overgoaling. If you want to stop overgoaling, tape up a sign on your desk that says, Say No. Sleep deprivation. That's usually in the name of computer work or play. Need I say more? By taking a serious look at those behaviors that sap our happiness and insisting on enjoying the ongoing, ever-changing miracle of this life we're privileged to get to live, we can up our happiness quotient. Now that you've finished this essay, do not write on one of those little squares Dirt through roofs, pretend giant center. <laughs>